So, the story that you're about to watch began one full lockdown ago. We're on a short 10 days climbing trip. Hannah, a typical 6B climber, managed to climb her first 7A. I did it. Then, first 7B. <laughs> then we kind of joked that on the next trip, so one full lockdown later, once the borders opened, we hit the road. The funny part was that we met in Germany and we had no clue where we will go. So we decided to ask our Instagram followers for advices. Because what can go wrong when you take an advice from somebody that you completely don't know? So we had a lot of recommendations and we flipped a coin a few times and our plan A was Arco in Italy. Everybody who knows me knows that I hate steep curves, especially with a huge van and especially in such a high tempo. Ooh, can you please concentrate on this train instead of filming me? Are you sure you can do this? I think you won't film me at all. Lens is showing in this direction. Ah! <laughs> no! Ben! Ben! The cars are coming! What the fuck? <laughs> I'm... Come on! I'm sweating! You like it? Why? Everybody will say keep your eyes on the road. I was keeping my eyes on the road. Look at this color. What the hell? Wow, wow, wow. I promise it's not color correction. It's real. Yeah, it's real. I promise as well. I'm somehow a pro in color correction on my Insta, but this is real. Ooh. <laughs> So how is your fear of falling? First route is always not that nice feeling, even if it's pretty easy. Well, we don't know if it's easy or not. Yeah, the grading says it's pretty easy. I have no fear. Four bolts on the first two meters. I don't even know if I should all use them. Safe. I overclip the second, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and you know what actually means when you have a lot of bolts in one section of the route? Ben, I don't like. This is not fun. Probably it's not easy. It's literally not possible. No. You was the one who told me don't climb stupid routes. There's nothing. I don't like. <laughs> Fucking five C. I don't want to do this, take. Yeah, so our first route was five something, but it's quite normal that if you don't touch real rock in a while, you won't trust your footwork in the beginning of your climbing trip, especially on very, very polished rock. We're looking for a different route, or you do this. But in this case, it was easy solution since the bolts are very close to each other. You can literally pull on a bolt, clip the next bolt, and continue warming up. Give me some. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I continue. Okay. Good. Amazing. 
amazing. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> You're kidding? No. It was a good, good run, no? You liked it? No, it was so polished, the polished, most polished thing I've ever done. Okay, to avoid rock ice skating, we decided to switch to a little bit harder routes. And Hannah was very determined to onsite this one. Nice, come on. Nice, come on, finish it. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, try hard. Yeah, come on. confusing when you are talking the whole time so what happened ego explosion <laughs> can I, I talk again once again please I don't understand can I talk yes yeah, sorry <laughs> I'm I was so stressed and yeah I was afraid <laughs> All right. again oh and by the way I also failed on the same route as Hannah all these months of no climbing, no falling, didn't help to climb more relaxed. So I ended up misreading the route and clipping from a really bad position. Nice. And that's okay. It's much better to notice this nervous feeling inside of you and then do some test falling to get rid of it. You're falling? You're falling? Yep. Okay. And to climb with that feeling for the rest of your trip. How was the whipper? It was good that it happened. It was a good falling experience and nothing happened, it was soft. <laughs> so we were slowly getting used to the rock and we were enjoying these amazing views everywhere and endless amount of super super sick climbs. <laughs> But there was a problem. Pretty much everywhere we go, we saw signs of no wild camping, meaning no tents, no cars, no vans. Van friendly Arco. You can only sleep in campings or hotels. I was trying to understand what's the reasoning behind all of this. Maybe it's to protect the nature from people going and trashing and making a lot of noise. But then you kind of allow people to go trash the place during the day. Maybe it's that local businesses talk to the government and say, hey, these people come here and trash the place, let's ban them. But let them stay in our camp places. Deutschland? Deutschland, Litauen. Lithuania. 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 See? Montano. Montano. Yeah, yeah. La China. <laughs> so I really don't know, but it seems that all the actions that are taken are not really to educate people how to be in the nature so we can all enjoy it. So maybe you have more ideas share them in the comments maybe we will start a good discussion butter dragon elephant, elephant lion fly. and she's my friend and her name is Erika Erika and her second name is Gudrun what Erika Gudrun Müller bye did you just killed her no she flew away so what's the plan Finding a route for me, for mm -hmm. us, uh -huh. without looking into the guidebook. Ooh, what a plan! Ooh, what a plan! Just what looks beautiful. Okay. Okay. And then we had a second problem. Since it was difficult to find parking, there was no climbers with the vans. 
and in general all the vibe in the area felt a little bit like family climbing with most of the people just top roping or climbing very easy stuff. So you found the route? I followed the plan to not look in the guidebook mm -hmm. and just look to the route. Mm -hmm. And I was like, maybe this one could fit. It looks like crimpy. And then a short overhanging part. And then you can't see anything. So it's a surprise. It's always good to have surprises. Mm -hmm. So you want to do it? You start this time. Since this trip, we didn't have our fancy pantsy friend with us. In order for us to film anything properly, we needed to make new friends. And friends who know how to belay. And good luck with that. Nice. Come on, come on, come on, get on. Nice. Come on. Nice. Come on. Nice. Nice. Although Adam Ondra was there at the same time when we were there, but unfortunately he missed our messages and never replied to us. But no worries, Adam, next time. Do you know what's the worst belayer? It's actually the person who is afraid to fall himself. So all of these beginner climbers that we met would have been really bad combination with weak ankles that Hannah had. Uh, this was the crux for me. But I have some great news for everyone. I got tired of seeing really crappy belaying everywhere I go. So I decided to make a video series on belaying. And no, not yet another silly video of how to use a grigri, which by the way, like half of the Spanish climbers still don't know. But a full video series that will explain everything you need to know from proper equipment usage to all the weird situations that you might encounter. Like yesterday, I saw this clip where the climber was clipping far above himself and he missed the clip. So he let the rope go and then the belayer was just... <laughs> So I'm gonna show you how you should belay such situations and I want to make all of this publicly available for free. So if you think that, wow, that's a good idea, you're right. But I also want to add that all of this will require more equipment, more people and more time. And no, I don't make a huge amount of money out of this YouTube channel. And I already made a video sharing all my numbers. So if you like what I'm doing and want to contribute a little bit, click the join button. For clipping, you went left. Yep.
So, how was it? Very difficult and bullshitty. No, actually, probably it's a, it's a nice route, but I should do it again. Probably What? not unsightable for me. <laughs> <laughs> What was the great? No, don't say it. Don't say it. You did it much better than me. Don't tell the great. Gnambio, bella Italia, ciao. <laughs> Now eat and then start hard climbing. Because that was not hard, what you just did. It was hard. But let's go harder <laughs> to <laughs> fail even more. This, so you feel a little bit better for your unsuccessful 6B+. Plus. Ciao! What happened? He just told me that this route I chose... No, I don't say it. <laughs> well, I already said on camera. And oh. you walked away with my smoothie. Yeah, the smoothie Apparently smoothie was is not so, ama so amazing that I was like, no, I won't listen to him, I just go and drink it all. And now he's told me that it was a 6B+. Plus. <laughs> so harder now. Well, you know, the 6B+, plus before I unsighted, so... It's obviously that it was too easy for me. Yeah, yeah, so we go harder now. Yeah. Okay. So Arco for us was like hate and love relationship. But as Elon Musk says, if plan A doesn't work, there are many more letters in the alphabet. So we decided to change the location and it was a good decision. Okay, okay. Looking a bit up. Yeah, and listening to weird sounds coming out of me. <laughs>